Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here. Today we're going to be doing a fairly quick uh, comparison between these two models here. Uh, it's been requested, so I kind of moved it up the, the ladder. Uh, so uh, yeah, here it is. This is the Tudor Black Bay 58 Navy versus the Seiko Prospex SPB213. Uh, they're very different price points, but uh, they kind of are from the same era. Um, if you consider vintage uh, inspired reissues or reinterpretations, these are kind of from the same era. And so uh, they have been directly compared uh, in the past as well. So let's go ahead and do that here. Uh, before we get started, I'm just gonna do a quick wristwatch check. I am wearing the Casio G-Shock GWB 5600 AR Adrenaline. So dimension wise, these guys are very similar. We've got, uh, let's let's go ahead and start with the uh, Black Bay 58 Blue here. Uh, this is 39 uh, millimeters in diameter. It is slightly under 12 millimeters thick. It's lug to lug is around 47 and a half. And it's lug width uh, is 20 millimeters. Uh, moving on to the Seiko SPB213. This guy is 40 and a half millimeters in diameter. The lug to lug is an identical or almost identical 47 and a half millimeters. Lug width is 20 as well here. And the thickness here is the, uh, the, the larger measurement. It is around 13 and a half millimeters. Uh, so fairly uh, thicker considering um, the size, if, uh, if you want to see a comparison here. Now, the interesting thing here is the fact that uh, Seiko's multiple different finishings and curvature uh, and all these bevels and things that Seiko does makes this thickness not feel as thick. And as you can see, there is a uh, break here from the case to the bezel and all these things kind of add up to it not feeling as thick as it is. Uh, while the uh, Tudor here has just one slab of a uh, case uh, case side. So because of that, this feels similar. This does feel thinner, but very close, even though the, the disparity is significant um, in terms of thickness. Finishes uh, obviously tends to go to Seiko here. Uh, you've got uh, really nice radial brushing here on the top of the case. Beautiful bevels, beautiful brushing on the side. Crown is not signed. Black Bay 58. Finishing is pretty good, uh, but very basic. There's a nice bevel here uh, going down the lugs. Uh, the brushing is uh, vertical on the top of the case, high polished on the side. Uh, nothing uh, too crazy, but you do have a signed crown with the Tudor Rose logo. The bracelet, it is worth mentioning here that this is an inverted uh, end link compared to uh, a male end link here on the Seiko. Uh, this normally would play a part in making the watch feel bigger. However, the, uh, the curvature and the, the downturn of that end link is so sharp that it turns out to be uh, kind of negligible. Bracelets here at first blush look pretty similar. The clasp is quite long. Uh, if you consider here this uh, diverse extension, which the Tudor does not have, it's a long clasp. However, they uh, made this articulate a little bit. The Tudor disguises itself as a short clasp. So it appears the clasp is only this big, but actually if you look at the swing arm, it extends past this first link here. And uh, this link in the back here does not articulate. And so the actual clasp is approximately that long which is longer than the Seiko and so I personally with my smaller wrist run into comfort issues with the Tudor while I do not with the Seiko. So the movements on these guys uh, are kind of similar as well I guess far different in terms of quality but uh, what they offer uh, is well, let's let's just get into it. The Tudor is uh, known as the Caliber MT5402. Uh, it has a 70-hour power reserve, 
Um, it is anti-magnetic. Uh, it is COSC certified. As you can see there, it says uh, officially certified chronometer. On the Seiko, it is not certified. It's actually uh, quite horrendous. Um, this uh, specific watch's movement is not doing too well. Uh, but this has 70 hours of power reserve as well. Uh, it is not anti-magnetic. Is the the 6R35? It beats at uh, you know six ticks per second, as you can see. Uh, slightly slow beat rate here. Uh, then the the tutors not very uh, good tolerances when it comes to accuracy. I think it's around uh, um, minus twenty to plus twenty. Um, don't don't quote me on that, but uh, you know it's it's pretty bad. Uh, it's so bad that I don't really uh, consider this for accuracy. I, I bought this pr purely because of how uh, it looks. Uh, the Tudor, on the other hand, is very reliable. It uh, performs very well when it comes to accuracy and uh, you know positional variance and things like that. It is a reliable movement. Both these watches have sapphire crystals. Uh, the bezel here on the Tudor is an aluminium bezel. Uh, on the Seiko here, it is a steel bezel that has been uh, coated and uh, varnished, lacquered maybe. Uh, it appears uh, as a ceramic bezel, but it's not a ceramic bezel. Do the bezel action here. That would be the Tudor Black Bay 58. And the Seiko is a 120 click, much quieter click, uh, much springier feel. Uh, but with the Tudor, you have a more defined click and uh, definitely a more satisfying feel with the Tudor, uh, which is a 60 click bezel. Uh, the loom on both these guys are excellent. I think the Seiko definitely uh, wins that battle. However, uh, it is very strong in the loom department, uh, though the Tudor is no slouch. Let me throw this on the wrist. Uh, my wrist is six and a quarter inches. Here is the Tudor Black Bay 58. And here is the Seiko SPB213. So for me personally, I would probably take the bracelet off both of these watches if I were to wear it uh, day to day. Um, in the summer, it's nice to have the bracelet option, but I think uh, they both wear better on straps, uh, which is what I have uh, tended to do for the majority of uh, of their time with me all right guys well that's it it's a quick you know casual comparison of these two models um i hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, if you're trying to decide whether you want to go with the seiko and uh, you know save some money or if you want to go with the tutor um i will be happy to help you guys out uh, give you my opinion uh, but uh, other than that you know guys take care stay safe out there um, I hope you all are well and uh, remember guys time is short you guys are uh, worth it you guys are very precious and uh, and I appreciate you all right guys take care stay safe out there bye